certainly, I prepared some notes. Uh, so as has been described before, the proposed facility is a fragrance blending facility. As such, there are no chemical <coughs> reactions taking place here. Product is made by dispensing raw materials into a mixing vessel where a uniform blend is achieved, which is then packaged into a product container and shipped to customers. The operation in this facility will be carried out to the maximum extent possible in a, in a closed system. Automated dosing systems, referred to as robots previously, will also be used extensively in this facility. These robots allow for quick and accurate dispensing and are easier to contain as far as fugitive emissions are concerned than manual dispensing. In those situations where closed system operation is not possible, we intend to use to employ state-of-the-art vapor and fume capture or fume capture technology which will include a variety of fixed slotted hoods, articulated arm fume extractors, and specially designed capture hoods for weighing on scales which do not affect the accuracy of scale of the weighing process. And Yash, are those the things that you're referring to, are those like the point source uh, capture Yes, these are the point source capture mechanisms, and these are currently in use in Mans facility in France. And our intent is to utilize these same state-of-the-art capture technologies in the proposed facilities. And then the vapors or fumes captured by these point-of-use point pickups will be combined into one stream which will be sent to a control device. In, in this case, it's going to be a carbon absorber. I'd like to explain why we chose the carbon absorber as the control device. Carbon absorption is a widely used technology which is used to treat drinking water and to purify ingredients in many of the foods we eat and beverages we drink. It is also extensively used in air filtration or purification. So just a little bit of a background on carbon absorption. Activated carbon is a carbonaceous material that undergoes an activation process to produce a highly porous media. A handful of activated carbon has the surface area equivalent to an entire football field. The surface area utilizes intermolecular attractions known as van der Waals forces to capture organic compounds from both liquids and vapors. This phenomenon is known as physical absorption. The large surface area creates many different absorption sites which have the ability to capture and hold many different organic compounds. Generally, activated carbon has a high affinity for compounds which have high molecular weight, weight and low vapor pressure, compounds that have high boiling points. So when we looked at Mann's raw materials, they're mostly they are compounds with high molecular weight and low volatility. So carbon absorption seemed was the ideal control technique to use in this situation. So, we then contacted Calvin Carbon Corporation, which is an established firm in the activated carbon absorption business, with information on MANS raw materials and, and the air flow rate. Based on the information we supplied to Calvin, they came back with an equipment selection, which in this case was the Vapor Pack 10, as suitable for these conditions. The selected unit contains 12,500 pounds of activated carbon, which should last about 29 weeks before needing replacement. The unit is easy to replace, and the delivery trailer can manage both the setting of the new unit and pickup of the old. The unit removed from the process is returned to Calvin Carbon. A properly designed activated carbon absorption system should be able to capture 95 to 99 percent of organic <coughs> going through it. For purposes of estimating emissions from this facility, we assume a more conservative 90 percent capture efficiency. After treatment of the carbon absorption and absorber, this airstream is discharged to the atmosphere via a strobic fan. Strobic fans are high plume dilution <coughs> fans which were developed by Strobic Air in 1986 for an application at the IBM plant in Fishville, New York. The facility engineers at IBM 
or that a fan that would get processed exhaust fumes up and away from the roof. They wanted to make the roof, the roof a safe environment to work on. The strobic fan achieves this by maintaining a high velocity, which allows the fan to entrain outside air up to 107 